was watching that. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, we have a special treat for the Kingdom Hearts community. We are going ahead and making a Kingdom Hearts 3 world tier list. So grab your popcorn because this one should be pretty interesting. Joe, people still eat popcorn? I'm more of a Sour Patch Kid type of guy. I just don't like all the butter all over my hands. Makes things more trouble than what they should be. Oreos, give me Oreos any day of the week. You losers can keep all that buttery, sugary garbage. Donald, you act like Oreos is a healthy snack, whatever. Moving on to the tier list, we are going to try our best to come together and agree up on a valid tier list. Starting off with Twilight Town, while this is a fan favorite world, I just can't see myself putting it past B tier. Twilight Town always feels like a home world, and also they have Ratatouille in this one. But there is nothing really major that happens in this world in KH3. KH2 arguably has a better Twilight Town than KH3. The amazing fight you get with Axel. I think saying that alone trumps anything that happened in the KH3 Twilight Town. Let's stick it in B, just for the fact that it has the best exploration. Obama 358 divided by two had a better Twilight Town than KH3, okay? Put this in D tier and move on to the next. God damn it, Donald. Excuse me, everyone, but there is no D tier world in KH3. Unless you're not counting Winnie the Pooh. Be serious for once. Sorry, everyone just ignore Donald on this on we are putting Twilight Town in B. Uh, okay, so the next world is Olympus. I would just like to say this is the best world that we have ever got with Hercules. The environment has never, ever looked so beautiful until KH3. The boss battle was a fresh of breath air compared to the stale Colosseum fights we do in every Kingdom Hearts game. Shh, you make me laugh, Obama. Okay, listen, Kingdom Hearts 2 had the best Olympus in the KH series, you hear me? Nothing is more cool than blasting through with Oron in your party, as well as a better story on top of that. We need to put this in B tier. Sorry, Donald, but I'm gonna have to go with Obama on this one. I really think they did a really good job on this one in KH3. Square Enix, please, though, we are tired of this world in every game, and if you put it in Kingdom Hearts 4, we will rank it automatically in Z tier. Can I be the first to say that Toy Box is a S tier world? The Woody meme is too legendary. This was the first time seeing Sora interact with Buzz and Woody, and it was beautiful. The mecha can be hit or miss for some, but overall, aside that I enjoyed my time exploring around Toy Box, now hopefully they return in KH4 instead of Olympus with a new area to explore. Toy Box did have some Riz Obama. Just off nostalgia for Toy Story, we are putting this in S tier. These next two are pretty interesting. San Francisco is a good look world, but ultimately feels underwhelming. I expected more from KH3 when they had this world at their disposal, but all we really end up with is a fly around shotting boss fight, which totally so unique and has been seen countless of times. But the frozen world was a better experience of my time, not only seeing my snowy little friend Olaf, but having a snowy Kingdom Hearts world felt good for a change. San Francisco is B tier and Frozen is just one above. Sleepy Joe, let me stop you there. Frozen is S tier just for the fact that we get to listen to Let It Go Again is amazing enough for it to shoot all the way up to S tier. All right, Donald, just to be nice, we will put it in S tier. LOL, yeah, right, you must have really thought for a second. The story of this world is just weird. Yeah, they have let it go, but the game literally tries so hard to push Sora, Donald, and Goofy out of the song. As well as not even letting us explore the castle was a wasted opportunity. Maybe next time they can fix the problems for the next time we visit, but just to be nice, we will put this in A. Moving along. Winnie the Pooh World was also another underwhelming experience. Can't believe they had me wasting my time get fruit and vegetables like I'm playing Candy Crush. It wasn't that bad because it was such a short world. Thinking back, it was kind of emotional seeing Pooh react to Sora growing up. Fellas, let put this in B tier for what it is. A very short world that has a kind-hearted story to it. I can dig some of that. I also want to say that the Caribbean world is an S-tier world. I understand that some people don't like getting crabs, but I feel it's built in the game to get you to explore their open world version of the Caribbean. This world, arguably the most beautiful in the entire game. I enjoyed my time very much on Caribbean with the ship battles being more enjoyable than I actually believed. Well, since we got all the Disney worlds out of the way, let me also say the Scala is also a S tier world, especially in the DLC, even expanding more. I do feel they're kind of a bit of emptiness in the DLC world, but I really enjoyed the battles that we got. There was times where I would get instantly one-shotted, but even the final battle at the end of KH3 was good here. Scala is S tier. Can't believe what we got at the Keyblade graveyard. Very disappointed in fighting just a storm of Heartless. 
I mean, I guess they try to make it as cool as possible, but to me, it just doesn't work. The battles with organization wasn't that bad, but they are nothing compared to what we got in the DLC. Let's put it in B just for how disappointing it was to get this after such a long wait. It was nice seeing Shion reunite with Roxas and Axel, though. Well, I guess that just leaves the Remind DLC. For anyone who hasn't played it, I would highly recommend. Not only will this be an S tier, but amazing boss battles with the organization as well as more exploration around Scala, and being able to play as Kyrie for the first time in Kingdom Hearts history, easily makes this the easiest S tier on this list. Agreed. 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 Joe Obama, see, this is what I'm talking about. If I was running this, none of this would happen. We forgot to add Monster Inc. to the tier list. Says a lot. Very underwhelming is something I know I can say for all of us. Just look at the screen; it you should find where we put it. Good night, everyone.